Hello, good day. Today is the People's Uncle here with First Fan Radio. And today we are in Philadelphia, PA, to celebrate the wonderful events, the national signing of the DJ Pendants. The DJ Pendants is going to be beautiful. We have a lot of DJs from around the whole country, the tribe borough. We have about 56 DJs that's going to be here today. We're going to do some live interviewing. We're going to talk to a lot of DJs about the pendants and about how important it is for today's events and how historical today's events. So please stay tuned. First Fan Radio, you heard it here first, baby. This is the People's Uncle, and I'm here with Mr. Barry P at today's events in Philadelphia, PA. Would you please tell us about today's events, Mr. P? It's the signing of the Declaration of DJ Independence. You remember the, the original signing of the Declaration? Well, the DJs are signing the Declaration and gaining the independence in Philadelphia as the best DJs, I say, on the planet. First and foremost, we got Jazzy Jeff from Philadelphia and Cash Money, are two of the biggest DJs in the world. So, you know, Philly is, you know, it's only right. You know what I mean? They don't say too much about us MCs, but they do give the DJs my respect. How long has this uh, process been evolving? How long have you guys been pushing for today's events, pushing for today's signing of the bill? How long have you guys been pushing for this? Well, this is the brainchild of Mr. Curtis Sherrod, a rapper con. And he put all this together. And the way Curtis works, Curtis gets an idea, makes a call, and it happens. And I think this was a spare the moment. Hey, I got an idea. It's what we'll do. Because that's how Curtis Mind works. Gotcha. <laughs> so, where do you see this event going? Do you see this event being the start of something new? Uh, being the start of a hysterical process? Where do you see that this uh, event is going to be in the near future? It's going to go from state to state, city to city, because RapperCon, DJCon, does go from city to city, state to state. It started in New York. Um, it's my understanding it started at the Apollo. Oh. And RapperCon has been traveling, and now it's in Philadelphia. I believe its next stop is Atlanta. So it's a traveling situation, and to answer your question, they're probably going to do the same thing in every city. But that's great. Listen, if people wanted to get in touch with you, or people wanted to find out more about you, and to have you uh, perform or do some DJ for them, would you please share with us uh, some of your information, please? You can get me on Perry P. I'm on Twitter at Perry, P-A-R-R-Y underscore P, Perry dot Perry on uh, Instagram and Facebook. It's Perry with an A, P-A-R-R-Y dot P-A-R-R-Y. They call me Perry P. I've been doing this since 1979. First MC in Philly. No, it's undisputed. That's right. You know first right here. First fan radio, the people's uncle, Perry P. We appreciate you, sir. We thank you very, very much, sir. Respect. Respect, sir. Respect. Thank you for tuning in. The people's uncle, baby. Oh, my God. This is the people's uncle. First Fan Radio, and today we're here with Mr. DJ Ill. Mr. DJ Ill is one of the finest DJs around, one of the upcoming uh, little DJs. Uh, Mr. DJ Ill, tell everybody a little bit about yourself, my son. Yo, my name is DJ D. Ill. I'm 11 years old. I'm from West Coast Buffet, and I DJ for Weber Entertainment Company. How long have you been DJing, Mr. Uh, DJ D. Ill? I've been... DJ for two years by now, but last summer I, I moved to turntables. Oh, you moved from turntables? Where did you move from turntables? You moved from what? Two turntables. I moved from a controller, a Pioneer DJ SB2 controller, to turntables. See, I didn't know what the controller was, so that's why I asked. And uh, you teaching me something. So, uh, do you like DJing? Yes, I do, very much. And you plan on DJing for a very long time? Yes. Uh, do you want the DJing to be uh, something that you do for uh, the rest of your life, or is this something that you want to do just for right now? Uh, I only want to be a tour DJ, so I want to do this for the rest of my life. Oh, you want to be a tour DJ. So not only do you want to do this, but you want to travel the world and get people to know who DJ Ill is, right? Yes. Well, okay. If you want to get in touch with Mr. DJ Ill, uh, how could they get in touch with you? Y'all can get in touch with me at W-E-W-O-R-K-I-N-E-N-T at gmail.com. We make entertainment, buddy. Baby, any social media you can think of, we make entertainment. 
You heard it first. The people's uncle and Mr. Uh, D.L. Mr. D.L. Say the people's uncle right here, sir. People's uncle, son. That's right. The one and only. Peace. Good evening. This is the people's uncle today. I'm here with Mrs. Lisa Love. How you doing today, Mrs. Lisa Love? Respect. Hi, people's uncle. Nice Hi. to meet you. Nice to meet you also. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, my name is DJ Lisa Love. Um, I own and operate the Morning Music DJ Institute here in Philadelphia, and I also got a chapter in upstate New York. I'm a recent retiree from the Department of Justice, Federal Bureau of Prisons, 25 and a half years that I um, worked in the prison and the Education and Recreation Department. But now um, I'm, I'm full-time hip-hop. Full-time hip-hop. What do you think about today's events? As you say, you full-time hip-hop. Do you think this is a positive thing and the growth that it can to possibly be? Um, this this day was epic. Uh, I think uh, it gave gave hip hop a voice as well as DJs, MC, beatbox. It gave us a voice. Um, also, just it made it made us relevant. Uh, we as and as a, a female uh, hip hop person, it just made us relevant as well as women relevant in this this hip hop world. And um, Mr. Curtis Sherrod of Rapicon, he. Um, he actually put us on the map right here where, like like the one um, rapper said, we right here at the battleground. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's epic. It, it gets no better for, for, this, for the culture of hip-hop. And by you saying it gets no better in the culture of hip-hop and explaining that, uh, do you think that as far as being the independence and this being the declaration and the signing, do you think that uh, other states may join in and other states may, you know, also uh, sign the bills or other states may also look at this as a turning point as far as the DJs is concerned? Uh, well, as far as uh, DJs are concerned and, and the DJ pendants, um, the Declaration of Independence as well, the DJ pendants, it was, it, 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 um, was signed in, in the city of Philadelphia. So um, it will just make uh, other DJs and, and, you know, worldwide um, have a little, a little more um, democracy, if you will, mm -hmm. in this art form and respect for 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 DJs, the whole um, hip hop culture. And so you can't can't sign a, 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 a um, DJ pendants in any other state. Has it's here. This is what it's. This is where it is, and this is how it's going to be right here. Tell me one of the pioneers that you look up to as far as the DJ that you know that you're finally happy that this happened for. The pioneers. Um, for me, uh, the pioneer in my heart and soul was DJ Emperor Smooth. He's the one who taught me the art form of DJing. Got to always show love to him. And DJ Ali, these are DJs from upstate New York. So for me, those are my, my legends. But I always was a um, um, follower of DJ Cash Money, DJ Jazzy Jeff. And like I told, told someone earlier, like... I have to. I've been DJing since 1984, so I have to be a pioneer for myself to get myself better every day. Like I have to look in the mirror and and um, review what I did that day and make it better. So I have to be a, a pioneer for myself and a leader for myself, so I can get better every day. Because I'm not done growing and I'm not done learning. So I have to look up to me too. And you're here first with Mrs. Lisa Love and the people's uncle. And Miss Lisa Love, if people wanted to get in touch with you for you to do concerts, for you to do uh, anything for them, whether you have to, you know, do speaking about the DJs and the relevancy, uh, how could they get in touch with you? Um, also, you could, um, you can... The easiest thing, if you forget everything else, Google DJ Lisa Love. Put it right up in the little search bar, DJ L-I-S-A-L-O-V-E, and you'll find any way you want to get in touch with me, you'll get in touch with me. But if your memory is good, you could um, Lisa Love at DJLisaLove.com, um, Twitter, um, Instagram, or at DJ Lisa Love. Um, my website is www.DJLisaLove.com, and it's a trademark. DJ Lisa Love is trademark. More Than Music DJ Institute. Um, more than music DJs trademark. Um, I make T-shirts, Remedy Tees that's trademarked as well, and Chill with a Twist that's trademark. Chill with a Twist is just a new company I started. Like anything I do, is always a twist to it because I'm, I do so many things, so it's always a twist. Got to have that twist. Yes. Right here, the people's uncle, Miss Lisa, Miss Lisa Love, thank you. First Fan Radio. We thank you. Peace. Peace. Good day. This is the People's Uncle with First Fan Radio. We're here today with Mr. Curtis. Today's events, the national signing of the DJ Pendants. Mr. Curtis, would you please tell us about today's events? And well, first of all, whenever I come to Philadelphia, it feels like I'm with family. That's why it just makes sense to be with a man named after your name. You know, got that uncle thing happening. Got my uncle in the building. Now, what today was historical. You know, a lot of times when people hear of hip hop, 
They think of negative connotations. They think of maybe young black people not being able to get together and do fellowship. There was not one incident. There wasn't even people cursing. You know, it was just people joyously enjoying the music, having a good time. I had my man be Frank in the house. You know, he was historic. You know, he did his. Come, come in the picture. See y'all. Come on, be Frank. Come on. I'm lying. I had come. Frank in the building. I was gonna say I'm a pretty good dresser too. I mean, oh, you're yeah, talking yeah. about. Oh yeah, Mr. Frank. Oh, I, I like being the dreads, man. Yeah, yeah. So, did you have a good time today, Ben? Oh, it was great. Really great. Great, great people. Great music. And did you really, really have a good time today? Oh, I had a great time. <laughs> I had a great time. I, I was the first cool white guy. I'm still... Uh, <laughs> so let me tell you about the event. Right? This is all part of Rapicon. Rapicon is a music conference. There's never been nothing like this before. It's an all-day hip-hop event. It starts at 10 a.m. It ends 1 o'clock the next day. It's a music conference. It's a seminar. We're doing a rapathon. We're doing a DJ con. We're doing a concert. We're doing an after party. We got vendors selling. Starts at 10 a.m. Ends 1 o'clock the next day. So listen, if you know what I know, go to www.rapacon.com. Go buy that $25 ticket and go hang out with your family. Hang oh, out yes. with your people. You got to. Go hang out a good time. If you're in Africa, uh -huh. right, cause I know you got people there. Yes, you got to. Yes. Fly, fly. fly. In, fly or swim. Or swim. We need a sponsor. Come on a boat or something. Yeah. Rock. You rock. don't stop. Keep on. Huh? You don't stop. Rock, rock to the hop to the rig. You oh, don't, don't stop. Got flow. So listen, I'm giving y'all a round of applause to the cameraman and all the good people out here. Rapacon May 29th. www.rapacon.com. I'll see y'all soon, good people. We want to thank you, the people's uncle, Mr. Curtis. Yeah. And we're gonna leave you here today, and we're gonna help you enjoy yourself, sir. Um, right? Pop your collar. Pop the collar. Come on. Okay. I salute you, sir. I salute you. First time ready, your peace. Hello, good day, everybody. This is the people's uncle, and I'm here with Mr. DJ Thought, the one and only, wherever now, Mr. DJ Thought. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself and today's event, sir? Well, the first DJ to, to crack it on the wax in Philly, uh. Hook Jazzy Jeff, Fresh Prince and all of them and all other DJs came right after me and scratching and all that. So that's about that's about how I can tell you the best here in Philly. As far as today, uh, big event, signing the uh, independence uh, for the DJ, do you think this is a uh, very really historical? And uh, tell us your thoughts on that piece, sir. Well, I mean, it's, it's historical if it's official. But, I, you know, I, I didn't get all the details on it, but it's a, it's a good thing what they're doing. Where do you stand as far as being a pioneer in the DJ, and what do you expect today's uh, relevancy? Uh, what do you expect that to uh, come about? Well, I have a DJ school, and I go around the world scratching, and so you know, I lay it down state to state. So you move from state to state, to part to part, and do your thing. Okay. Well, if people want to get in touch with you, DJ Thought, how could they get in touch with you? Give us some little bit of your information. You can get at me at djthought1 at gmail.com or give me a call 267-997-3163. Philly's best. Tell us a little bit about your school as well. Well, the school is still cuts. It's, we teach people in different states how to cut and, uh, you know, show them that it's a business more than just going to parties, how to market strategy, uh, promoting and, and advertising their name to get the parties. You're here first, DJ Thought, People's Uncle, First Fan Radio. We're signing off. Peace.